number two. Tonight I'll be mixing the drinks. Two of them, one for each hand. The first drink I'm going to mix is uh, something with gin. Kevin's gin. It's from Ironworks Distillery, native to Nova Scotia. And the second drink I'm going to be mixing is a vodka cocktail. And I'll be using the cheapest vodka I could buy at the liquor store for that one. So a couple of common bar items that every good bartender should have. A cocktail shaker. There's a couple of different varieties of these. This one happens to have a straining compartment built into the top as well as a measuring cup or a jigger as it's known in the bartending world. You can also buy jiggers on their own. They usually come in half ounce and one ounce uh, proportions. A couple other things that you're going to want in your bar. A uh, selection of citrus fruit. I've got with me today fresh cut lemon, lime, and orange. I also have my lemon and lime concentrated juices. A couple other juices. I've got grenadine, which is pomegranate syrup, if you didn't know. I've got some mango juice. I've got some sparkling water. Some fresh ice. And another thing you wouldn't normally think of having is regular sugar. The same sugar that you would put in your coffee every morning. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get out our cocktail shaker and we're going to fill it about halfway up with ice. So on top of the ice, we're going to put about a teaspoon of sugar. top of the sugar, we're going to put our lemon concentrate, a little bit of mango juice, and our last ingredient is our vodka. Now depending on how you like your drinks, you might want to stick with the half ounce portion or you might want to go with the full ounce. I'll just do a little bit of this. Oh, okay. Lid goes on the top. Make sure it's all the way down before you give it a shake. Aggressive shaking is the best because it'll help dissolve the sugar that we put in there. You can put your fruit pieces inside. Looks kind of pretty like that. And you're just going to basically strain the ice out. You're going to top with your sparkling water. basically filling up the rest of the glass. And the fun part is topping it off with a little bit of grenadine. Give it a little stir. Fun color change. Now you can pretend that you're somewhere not in Nova Scotia, maybe somewhere a little bit warmer and a little more tropical. The next drink we're going to try is with our gin. So again, same procedure as the first drink. We're going to fill up our cocktail shaker about halfway with ice. Another teaspoon or thereabouts of our sugar. a maybe generous portion of our gin. This time we're going to use a lime concentrate.
all this in the cocktail shaker. Again, lid on nice and tight. Give it. So next we're gonna build our drink. So I've got some crushed ice in my glass here. We're gonna start with our cocktail shaker mixture right on top of the crushed ice. We're gonna put on our soda water. Nice fuzzy layer at the top. Little drizzle of grenadine on the top. And because we added lime concentrate into our cocktail shaker, I'm going to garnish with lemon pieces just to give a little bit of a different flavor. And a straw. Now when you get this drink, you can give it a twirl with your straw. And it's really fun to watch the colors change, especially when the grenadine gets fully incorporated into the drink. And here are my two finished cocktails.